What is this she, woman? This woman was um, she's mixed. Is that what you're asking? Was her I think is she mixed? I thought she was like Hispanic or something. Right, it's, it's giving fiesta fiesta. <laughs> You gonna have to put you gotta you gonna have to tell me I don't know nothing about this. I mean I don't know nothing about it either. So Black <laughs> Daddy, um I'ma let you take over because I'm 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 gonna let you take over and then I'm gonna give my commentary. Okay, so the random man in Atlanta situation started because the girl Morgan, who you just showed, she came on the scene and was just telling us like I guess how her baby daddy left her. 30 days after she had a C-section and he left her in Michigan and moved back to Atlanta to be with his own, own again, off again ex-girlfriend for like about 10 years and come to find out, I think she's a six baby mama or a seven. fifth baby mama? Seven. Seven. Another one. Yeah, he got an ass to turn and all his, all his baby mamas are saying that he is crappy he don't do shit for the kids but leave it up to him, he's doing everything in his power. Y'all know how these baby daddies get He's doing everything in his power to take care of these churns, but he ain't. Yeah. Mm. Girl. He ain't shit. Ooh, the beard don't connect. And to be honest, this is Morgan's fault as well, because girl, you knew what he was dealing with his, with his past relationships. I'm sorry, but a man that has multiple kids ain't got shit for me. So she knew he had children? Yeah. he She, she knew about his first girlfriend, which he's been on again, off again with for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And I think she knew that he had five kids because she was saying how like the girlfriend knew that he had six kids on her. No. I heard that yeah. she didn't know that he had I'm okay, I'm hearing different stories because I heard that she didn't know that he had any children. But then I was like, girl, that don't I, I still that still doesn't make any sense to me. Like No, you can look at her videos and she was like, the girlfriend knew that he didn't have not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. I think that's what she said. Morgan, I, I you know I'll, you know I will find it for you and I will tag you in it. Did Morgan did, did Morgan know that he had children? That's what she said. I know okay. I saw that video because I I, okay. I paid attention to everything when that shit first happened. Well, that's up mm-hmm. for debate. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna take your word for it. I, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna tag you. I'm gonna tag you. Yeah, I don't know. We we I heard that she didn't know. Um, I I know that she didn't know because wasn't she pregnant at the same time? This is ghetto. I'm sorry. This that's what I'm saying. She knew that as another girl that was pregnant with her at the same time. Yeah, but by that time, by the time she found out, like apparently, like the pregnancy was real far along. <laughs> That's one child right there. Why you have to stay around and find out about five more before that? Because mm. how you could how how does she know that the ex girlfriend knew that he had all them fucking kids? Okay, here's my thing. She what knows is this, baby, what is this she, woman? This woman was um she's mixed. Is that what you're asking? Was her I think is she mixed? I thought she was like Hispanic or something. Right, it's, it's giving fiesta salsa. That's what it's giving. That's what I thought she was. Uh huh. You better watch out for she cut your. Wait a minute. Um, stop right there. <laughs> let's talk about it. We're gonna have a real. We're gonna have a real conversation. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on, look, let me go to the comments. We'll go to the Girl, comments. what's going on? Getting spicy. Oh, let me see. I can slow down. Oh, hold on. I, I have to lose on my computer the next time. This is irritating me. Oh, God. Shikoi, I'm going to come back to your comments. What did you say? So, many, so black- many black women are full of shit. Black gay men can speak positively of black women. We're not allowed to critique the negative allegiance to y'all one sided. Okay. Can't now, here's that. the thing. In certain circumstances, yes, I think everybody's allowed to critique as they please, but it's a certain way. There's, there's just, 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 you went too far. Yeah. In certain, in, in Funky Doniva's perspective, he went too far. He could have just said, Chloe be lying and she fake and she authentic. If he would have just said that, I don't even think he would have got that much heat, but it was, it's really the oh. looks. 
He was talking about Daniva. I thought you was. I'm sorry. I thought you was talking about who else? I don't even know. I thought I. I don't. I'm tipsy. I've been drinking. Uh -huh. so I, I swear. I, I thought. Think, I think. I think Kenneth was still talking about the Daniva thing. Oh. It just makes sense. Is that a child? Oh. I thought you was He's talking like about the um. He's sorry. I'm sorry. I've been drinking. Celestine. No, she's not a child. She just looks really young. Um. Y'all, please say hi to my man. So. Hi! <laughs> hi, I okay, know. No, oh, my wife's Get out. Right, I'm not your wife. I'll take it up. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a, she'll be over there in a minute. Give us a second. I take up for black women 95% of the time, even though even more than I do black men, but I mm. make respectful critiques. Then black women say, I hate black women. Listen. Yeah, I got those comments too before, and, and sometimes you just, it, it, it be, it it be people that just be talking shit, and that's just what it yeah. is. You know, you, you know what type of content that you make, and at Can the I, end of the day, I want to talk to Ken. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. No, no, I mean, I, I made my point. I want to <laughs> talk. I wanted to finish this story about. Can we? Can we finish this story about um this random man real quick, mm -hmm. real quick? Um, but yes, Ken, because we're gonna get back to we're gonna get back to it. Mm -hmm. But. A random man in Atlanta. I don't know. Do y'all how do, do y'all have any? She should kill that baby. Stop. No. Wait, is, wait. Stop. She ain't had a baby yet, right? She does. No, she already. I think her child like eight months. Okay, eight she months. can't kill the baby child. What the hell? No, I'm she talking did. about when when she was pregnant and she found that he, oh. that she was pregnant. Matter of fact, she should never been laying down with him when he had all them fucking kids. Clearly, he <laughs> don't know how to pull out. Okay, here's my thing. Oh yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Here's my thing. At this point, it's starting to get a little exploitative. Like, you know, every I don't mind, you know, you making merch and um profiting off of your pain, but I don't see why you like why do you have I don't see why you have to share your story with your child on your hip. Like, hey guys, I'm here with this random man's from Atlanta, baby. It's just like okay, it's not funny anymore. You can still share your story without having this, you know, four month old hanging off or a high old she is hanging off of your yeah. hip. I just think that that's the part, but she's young and she's 22, she's 23, high old she is. This is why I'm totally against co-parenting. I'm sorry, because the shit is ghetto. Mm. Girl, the shit is ghetto. When I tell you that that shit is ghetto, girl, I want to hit my baby daddy with a fucking truck. I'm done. Ooh, not a truck, child. A truck. I mean, a monster truck. Just I mean, people can't control. Them, people can't control uh, co-parenting. I mean, sometimes shit just happens. I, I know a couple that was married and now they're divorced and they have a child. You know, yeah. it, it, stuff like that happens. Yeah, I, especially if you didn't like see the red flags beforehand. Mm -hmm. well, I'm I, mean, sorry. I think it's a completely different when and during your parents are married. Like it's completely yeah. different when you're, you know, when. When the family breaks up from a divorce versus when the family was never together to begin with, like, mm -hmm. or was just playing house from the jump, like the whole Kiki and her baby daddy situation. That people want to be like, oh, she broke up a uh, uh, um, her home just to be on in the streets. It was never a home. They shacked up. They had a child out of wedlock. That's her baby daddy. That's yeah. his baby mama. She is still a single mother because she's not married. Yeah. Yeah. When they try to, because, but do you know what it is? And oh, thank you. How, how do y'all feel about Kiki though? Can we hold on? Hold on. I, I, we can talk about it. But I want to, I want to finish off with this black random man in Atlanta real quick. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't feel bad for these women. Um, what? I don't. I don't. These women have poor pussy management. Um, they, they have low self esteem. <laughs> they have low self esteem. They over here talking about how you know they're over here talking about how oh all of them are baddies. Well, clearly not. And here's the gag: like when a man approaches you, right? He knows that there's a chance that either he can get with you or that he will be denied. Like most men do not approach women who are completely outside of their league. You feel me? Like so, it says a lot that this dust might, this dust rat. This this fucking dust bucket approached you, jumped inside of you, emptied inside of you, and you were still able to get up and move past it. Like it speaks volumes to just just your self esteem. 
I'm sorry. Am I taking this too far? No, I mean, cause look, I mean, look. Oh, I'm reading the comments. Bring, bring, bring the picture back, child. Cause it, I, I said it earlier. I said the, not the beard don't connect. He looks like he. That wasn't a deal breaker for you. Or he looks like he's bathing in flour. Like what? And you know what they were saying? They were saying that um, all of his baby mamas, he approached them like at a young age. Yeah. Like I think the first one was saying, like I, I think it was maybe two or three of them. They were saying that um, he approached them when they were like seventeen, and he was like in college. Oh, he got a type. Yeah, he definitely has a type. And you know, a lot of men, especially a lot of old, grumpy, stubby men, they go after like younger girls or younger women also like you know around their early early 20s because they're more impressionable and that's what they like i feel like if you I, hot take unpopular opinion i feel like if you have a fetish for dating little girls and young women you're a pedophile <laughs> well no that's not an unpopular opinion it's rude i feel like i feel like you're a pedophile because why would you want to be yeah. somebody in your 30s Dating someone that is 19. What the fuck do y'all have in common? You're not a pedophile, but it's definitely rooted in pedophilia. It because definitely she, is. She looks young. Because like, if like, the law allowed, I'm pretty sure these men will definitely date younger. Yeah. 